and we used to pray together we cried together like Amazing, amazing, amazing people. My name is Mingli So Amazing. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the topic, we are having girls talk. Yes, we're having girls talk. Before we get into this video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Leave a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below on what you want to see next. So yeah, I asked you ladies to send in topics um, to my Instagram and you ladies did. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do. I'll leave that in the description box down below. And you guys already know I have my wine. <laughs> Trust. Um, <laughs> um, we are drinking on Stella Rosa Diasti, I think that's how you pronounce it. If you have not tried this, please try it. So enough talking, let's get into the topic. First topic says, do you want more kids? Kids with an S. <laughs> Um, I don't want more kids. I want one more child. Um, if you do not know, um, after T3, after T3, I ended up getting pregnant again. Um, and it was a girl and I lost her, unfortunately. Um, and for a while, I did not want more kids because it's like, you know what if something like that happens again like I have very like high-risk pregnancies which I didn't even know until um, I got pregnant with T3 with Kaysen I had like the perfect pregnancy except for like I end up having a c-section with him that's a, a whole nother story on its own but um <clears throat> what was I saying I don't remember what I was saying y'all <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying, but yes, at the T3, I ended up having um, another baby and I lost that child. And for a while, that's what I was saying. For a while, I did not want another baby because, you know, I was afraid like, oh my God, what if that happens again? And then I was going through relationship problems and I was stressed and it's like, it was just so much. Like I did not want any more kids, but like as time goes on, it's like, you know, I want you know, that was my only daughter and I was even buying clothes for her and, you know, little hair bows and, you know, I just want one more child, a girl. But I feel like if I end up having another baby, it would not even be a girl, it would probably be another boy. But honestly, I don't even care. Like, I want one more child. Even though sometimes T3 is such a handful, like I always say, if T3 was my first child, I would never have had any more kids. But that's only when, like, he's driving me absolutely crazy. But yes, I do want one more child, not kids, one more, and then that'd be it. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Next topic. How long should you wait to jump into another relationship? Um, I just feel like before jumping into another relationship, you have to be ready because you don't want to go into a new relationship. Let's just say, for example, your last relationship didn't work out because your boyfriend was always cheating on you and you have trust issues. You don't want to jump into another relationship having those same trust issues because you can really miss out on a really good guy. Like that guy could be 100% faithful, 100% loyal, but because of your past relationship and because of the things you went through, you don't trust him and that's not fair to him. So I feel like you should give yourself time and that time could mean three months or three years. Like you will know when you're ready. I don't feel like, like it's an exact time, exact date. Like I don't feel like that. I just feel like you will know when you're ready. When you get out of a relationship, just give yourself time, focus on yourself and you know, I, us as women, sometimes we may feel like we are perfect. There's nothing wrong with us. It wasn't us, it was him. But I'm pretty sure you have some working on to do like yourself. Just focus on yourself, give it time, do some self-reflecting and figure out what it is that you really want. Being a single mother trying to start a career. Um, so basically she wants advice on being a single mom trying to start a career. My best advice is go for it. If you want to do something, do it because your kids are depending on you if whenever you think about giving up think about your kids because you're building your legacy for them and also 
when starting a career, make sure you research it. Make sure it's something that you want to do because you don't want to, you know, do something that you're not really sure that you actually love. You're just doing it for the money. If you're going to something thinking, okay, I want to do this because I know it's good money. But if you don't love what you do, you're not going to be happy. So make sure it's something that you love and it's something that you want. And think about your kids. Thinking on, you know, their their college funds and their future. You want your kids to be 100% set. Um, if you're dealing with anything that's toxic or any toxic people, any bad relationships, let it go. Let it go. It's not important. You have to focus on the grind. Like, grind very, 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 very hard. It's not going to be easy, but it's worth it. I'm 15 years old and I feel pressured to lose my virginity because all of my friends already lost theirs. Um, I feel like at 15, you don't even know what you want for yourself. And if you feel pressured by your friends to lose your virginity, that's not your friends. And be a leader. Don't be a follower. If your friends jump off a bridge, you're going to jump off a bridge? No, you're not. I don't think so. <laughs> oh no, I don't mean to be so harsh, but I just feel like if I could go back to my younger self when I was 15 years old, I would do so much things different. Like, I would do so much different. Like, I wouldn't have been so even worried about boys. I would have been focused more on school, my education, and just being a young lady, being a child. Like, don't be so in a rush to grow up. Because when I tell you, bills responsibilities all that is no joke embrace your childhood be young be free be safe that should not even be on your mind at 15 years old that should not be on your fr your friends should have even been doing that at 15 years old that's not okay even though there are young ladies out there that are, are doing it but nine times out of ten you're gonna lose your virginity to some bummy little nappy head boy who you're not gonna even care about later on down the line so why even do it Wait till you're older, you're more mature, you can think for yourself, and you know what you want. Then you can think about that. Then you worry about that type of stuff. When you're 15, you're te in your teens, you're a teenager, you get 15. Worry about being a teenager, hanging out at the movies, uh, going to sleepovers, you know, being a cheerleader, being active, being proactive, being in sports. Worry about that, because that is what's gonna get you far in life. Losing your virginity to some boy, some little nappy head little boy, is gonna have you in your feelings, worrying about the wrong thing, sad, cause nine times out of 10, that's all he wants and then he gonna be out the door. And now you sitting there and I lost your virginity, think, oh, I'm gonna be with him forever. Oh, this is the one for me. No, he gonna be on to the next little girl. No, don't worry about that sis. Focus on school, focus on yourself, and focus on being a teenager and having fun. Next topic says, were your parents strict growing up? Um, <laughs> oh my God. Yes, my parents were strict growing up. Let me say something. I am 27 years old and to this day, I am so afraid of my dad. I am so afraid of that man. Like, <laughs> not afraid as in like that, but like certain stuff, I wouldn't even tell him, do around him, like none of that. And as far as my mom, I don't think my mom was strict, but my mom was a snitch. <laughs> I feel like she used to tell my dad everything. Like, okay, I get it. She wanted to keep him in the loop, like I get it. But I feel like a lot of things um, I wanted to talk to her about and open up to her and tell her, I just couldn't because I knew she would tell him. So yeah, mom. A lot of things I did not tell you because you were a teller-teller, a uh, tatter teller You were a teller-teller, snitch, 6 9 rat, well, all that. <laughs> my mom was going to kill me. But yes, my parents were straight. Like I said, my mom, not so much. She was just a rat. And my dad, like, he did not play. Like, my dad, man, listen, let me tell y'all this story. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, so I was in high school. I'm not sure like what grade I was in. I think like I was in ninth, yes, I was in the ninth grade and I called myself skipping school, not knowing that my dad was having a freaking parent-teacher conference with my teacher. Y'all, 
I done exited at the school gates. <laughs> I'm walking down the street. I'm walking, just walking. I see this green car. I'm like, that's like my dad car. I say, nah, that's not his car because he got these big old red dice and, you know, hanging from his, um, like his little mirror. I'm like, that's not him. I say, wait, that is him. I say, oh my gosh. Oh, Y'all, when I tell you my heart dropped, like, you know what he told me? Come on, get in the car, let's go. <laughs> Y'all, when I tell you that did not end well, that did not end well. <laughs> Oh my lord. So yeah, my dad did not play. Next question says, how did you get over depression? I see you talked about it on your Instagram story a little. I struggle with it too. Um, I also have anxiety. Um, in 2015, I had my first, cause I had struggled with, with anxiety as well. I still do to this day. But in 2015 is when like I really went into like a deep depression and was suffering from anxiety. Um, if it wasn't for my mom, I don't know. And God, I don't know how. Ooh, I like I'm about to cry. Why am I about to cry? Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. <laughs> if it wasn't for my mom and for God, I do not know how, like, I don't know how I would have. I cannot believe I'm finna cry. Uh uh. Hold on. <clears throat> it was times where, and this is very, very personal for me, and I don't want people to. I don't want anyone to take it the wrong way, but it was times I didn't even want to be around my son. <clears throat> and at the time I only had one one child, just had case and I didn't even want to be around him. Like I was in such a dark place. I didn't want to be around my son. I don't want my son to see me like that. I used to, my mom used to literally have to make me <clears throat> get out of bed. Like get out of bed. Come on, get out of bed. Let's go for a walk. You know, I'm gonna lay down all day and be and be sad all day. Like and, and you have and we used to pray together. We cried together, like yeah. Like my mom really got me. She 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 really got me to do that <clears throat> through that. I think it's so important when you're going through something like that, depression, anxiety. You have to have someone really strong in your um in your corner i know a lot of people are not as fortunate to have that um thank god i did and even if you don't have somebody in your corner call on god like i remember i just was like mom like i i don't i don't know like when you are going through something and you're in it and it's that deep and you're in such a dark place you don't even want to live you don't because you just don't want to feel like that anymore you just don't like that feeling and i remember my mom taking me to the hospital because i'm like please take me to the hospital i don't like the way i'm feeling i just need to get help because i didn't know what it was honestly because i have never felt like that i have never went through anything like that so i'm like please take me to the hospital my mom took me to the hospital and i remember us being in the hospital room just crying playing gospel music and just like I remember just saying like God like please just help me get through this and like I said like if it wasn't for a moment for God it's just no way I would have got through it um my mom got me help so I used to meet with like a counselor and she taught me like breathing techniques and yeah like breathing helps so much with anxiety to so this day I have like anxiety and practice your breathing like I mean Research breathing techniques if you can't afford like, like a counselor or you can't afford to like see help um, Research stuff that will help you if you it's I'm gonna try to link a hotline number um, Down below <clears throat> I want to link a hotline number down below um, Maybe you know that'll help um, It's just very important to have somebody like in your corner and That's how I got through it. I have my days like <clears throat> with depression anxiety I don't really think it's something that in my opinion I don't think it's something that I don't really think it's something that completely goes away. I, like I don't know it. It like 
it, it's things that are trigger it. Like it's, it's things that are trigger my like anxiety. And it's like, you know, little things. Like if I have too much going on in my life at one time, I'm going to get anxiety. Like I cannot have too much going on. Like I, it just, it just, it will trigger it. But you know what I do? I practice my breathing and guess what? It goes away. So breathing techniques, having someone in your corner and God, like that's really, 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 really going to help you. Um, that is the end of this video. There were a lot more questions, but we're going to save that for next Girl Talk. If you enjoy Girl Talk, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. And leave a comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. And remember, Girl Talk is 100% anonymous. You can DM me questions on my Instagram or my email. Everything will be in my description box down below. So yeah, I hope you ladies and gents or whoever was watching this video, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.